Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of the Holy Boxer in the last episode. Oh, wow, what did we do? We defeated the Flame Lurker and we also defeated the Dragon God. So it was a shortish episode, but you got two bosses in one and I think that really makes up for it. In today's episode, we are going to be taking on World 4 2, the Adjudicator's Archstone in the Storm of the Sh the Shrine of the Shadow Worshipping Storm Archer Men Men's What? I think it's the the shad the uh, the archstone the s shrine of the storm the shrine of the shadow men but they are shit ah uh, but they're also the known referred to as the shadow worshipping storm Sh storm Sh <laughs> storm it's the storm men. The storm was <laughs> fuck this. Fuck it, you fucking know. If you don't know it, look it up. And to be honest, the main purpose uh, we're here for is this. Then I'll sell every last trinket off your corpse. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Patches is an asshole no matter what game you play. Well, you know, apart from if you're playing like Mass Effect or something, then he's really doesn't have much to say. Heavens, did you fall for that little devil's trap? Well, I did the same. He fooled me, and now I am stuck here. The reverberations seem to suggest that we are connected to the outside. But dark, fearsome souls stand between us and freedom. But have no fear. God will cleanse us of evil. Pray with me, Umbasa. Okay, this is Saint Urbain. He and I are wearing the same clothes. Uh, we also have the same haircut, which is interesting. His chin is... I would say tiny bit smaller than mine, but I don't know, I can't say for sure. Anyway, uh, Saint Urbain is exactly the man we're here to see. However, we're going to have to defeat this son of a gun to uh, to get what we need out of him, so let's go for it. This guy has got two katanas, he has Hiltless, and I think he's also using Makoto. Actually, it's probably the Uchi Katana because he's not losing, uh, he's not losing health. But yeah, I think it's probably hiltless then. So he does good damage, I do good damage. That was a mistake. I should be able to take him out. There we go. No problemo. <laughs> Why did I say that? <laughs> the fuck did I say that for? Alright, we get uh, three chunks of Dark Moonstone and one stone of Ephemeral Eyes. It's very similar to fighting the, um, that plague baby, the, not the plague baby, the baby's nail, Black Phantom, in, uh, in World 3-1. Oh, it's you. Did you cleanse the world of another dark soul today? God has chosen you. And for that, we are thankful, Umbasa. Okay, perfect. 
Anyway, uh, all that really means is that Saint Urbane is now... Now. <laughs> now going to be free to leave this place. He's going to go back to the Nexus. And we will talk to him later on. When we have the time to spare. For now, however, we come out this way. Patches is here. He gives you a ring of gash resistance, which is, of course, a useless piece of shit, and you already have one. And I don't know. Just you can kill. You can kill him if you want to. Just fucking kill him. Um, there is more to this place than I'm probably going to show today. However, with these weapons and with me wanting to get this whole place done in one sort of session. I, I probably won't show everything in this place. Holy shit. And not just because I'm dead. But partly because of that. Uh, okay. Oh, of course, right. We're getting um, health regeneration from our blessed... Iron Knuckles, which is really good, because I've just taken the Regenerator's Ring off, replaced it with the Thief's Ring. I didn't expect to die quite there, I expected to die a bit further down. Um, this level, it can, without a shield, it really does tend to cause me a lot of trouble. So that being said, this, I, I normally say that this is the best place in the game to to farm souls if you're into that kind of thing. Um, with a bow and arrow you can, and it, well, with a strong enough bow and arrow, uh, you can kill that guy and uh, get those like four and a half thousand souls without too much trouble. Uh, let's help this healing along. Now I know what people have been saying, but just fucking look at it. In fact, is he going to go away? He was starting to walk away, wasn't he? Yeah, he is. What an idiot. Okay, we'd probably be able to get the other one to follow us as well. Okay. And we step away. He stopped. Come down and back step. Or front step, whatever. You know, it takes you two shards of blade. That's pretty good. Blade stone's one of the tough ones to get. Particularly the pure and the chunks. To the extent that most people just don't bother. Right, it's this part that I wasn't looking forward to. Um, we're, we're gonna have to run past them, I think, because I don't really. Fancy my chances, I'm going to get them up here. I mean, I could trick them. I could get them to keep running away from me, and then backstab them. Like you just saw me do, but I don't want to... I don't want that to be the episode, you know? I mean, how much damage do I do? A lot. Well, never mind what I was saying. <laughs> and a chunk of bladestone as well. As if I needed proving any further wrong. I had to look down at my PVR to make sure I was actually recording that. Highlight of my day so far. Whew. Okay, things do not get any easier though. Hey, now the Saint, fortunately for us, the Saint's robes do have quite good um, magic defense, which we are going to need. Oh, fuck this. Yeah, fuck that. I'm just gonna come around here and take this bitch out. Off you go!
Oh, thank God for that. It took him ages to die. Okay. Look at this, guys. This is amazing. Don't go for those, by the way. I mean, you can, but I just, I really wouldn't. I would not advise it. Right, the only the problem, the biggest problem with this level is there are no shortcuts at all. So, you just gotta do it all. And in case you didn't know, these enemies also uh, regenerate health. Sorry, not regenerate, they revive. That was fucking close, wasn't it? It's way too close for comfort. Sorry if you had a lot of button mashing then, I was going insane on my controller. Okay. Anyway, that's the last lot of the main enemies for this. That, and in fact, I think... You get a lot of sticky white stuff here, and I think that the boss here, the old hero. I think he might be weak to magic. Um, we'll, try, we'll try both, actually. We'll, we'll try both. Let's just... let's get out. Don't have the right equipment to be fighting the slugs, really. Just gonna play it very cool. There we go. We are through. And you really, you do, you just, you want to take the old hero out in one go, honestly. Grab a legendary soldier's soul, which I like to think is the hero himself, and he's sort of come back as this evil demon. He's not actually inherently evil, I'll take that back. The only thing I don't really like about that is how long they make you stare at his bum for. Wait, thanks guys, I know you made this cool cutscene and all, but what the fuck's with all the ass action? Okay, let's get behind him. Uh, if you're wearing very light clothing, he's gonna have a hard time finding you if you don't sprint. Again, makes things more difficult for him. Okay, so that's 68, which is not good. Just means it's going to take us a fucking age to kill him. Uh, let's try the dragon. That was interesting. Sixty-five. Okay, there's not a great difference there. Ah, oh, but there is enough for me to switch back. Oh wow, well, I thought we were going to do this episode really quickly, but I think the old hero is going to make us uh, take our sweet time. Oh, there we go. That's the guy we killed. Was that a chunk? Did we just get a chunk? Yeah, I think we did. That's good. I mean, I wouldn't use it, but... Always good to get a chunk, eh? Wow. I thought you had us then. Uh, the old hero does an insane amount of damage. What weapon are we using? Are oh, we using Blessed? Oh yeah. Slightly more magic than fire. Oh. But then our Blessed Iron Knuckles are stronger than our Dragon. Dragon. Than our Dragon Iron Knuckles, so that's actually perhaps not too fair. Yeah, he's lost us. Okay. Should be careful. Don't sprint would probably be my advice unless you're in real, real trouble. Hmm. Not good. Right, and he should turn around. Alright! Alright! Gotta get him three hits at once then, otherwise we're gonna... spend all fucking day here. Oh, 
Okay, that was scary. I suppose behind here is a good place to, to, ch to chill out, to hide from him. He does normally seem to know where you're where you've come from or where you're going to. Except, why does that keep happening? Why do I keep getting proven wrong? But it's always in, in fortunate ways. Yeah. Because he relies pretty much entirely on uh, sound. In case anyone was wondering why I was saying all that stuff about wearing light armor and uh, not sprinting. That's why. Because he's blind. How else would you attack a blind person? By hitting them and running away, of course. But running away slowly. Actually, if you've been hit by one of those random swings he takes, I would be really interested to hear that. Because I wasn't sure... I've, I don't think I've ever been hit by one, but... You know, I'm sure it's not impossible. Maybe just improbable. I'll wait for him to swing again. I want him to get a decent bit of distance away from where I'm going to back off to. I only managed to hit him twice, which is a bit annoying. Yeah. Maybe we're getting too greedy. Maybe that was the problem. Oh, I don't know. I'm just, I'm really hoping that we don't get hit by one of those random shots. That would be, uh... Well, just something we didn't need. I think these are holy arrows up here. Yeah, 31 holy arrows. Holy arrows do very, very decent damage, by the way. For anybody who was really, really terribly curious. <laughs> For some reason. No, only two. Let's see. Does he gonna, is he going to sprint after us? No. Uh, maybe two is the way to go. Just to decrease the risk. I mean, the damage isn't terrible. It's not good. But... I've done worse. He's going to attack. There's no way I'm leaving it at 30, uh, however much damage, 63, 68, 68 damage we do. I can't just leave it at that. Okay. Ah, oh, lovely. Lovely, we got him into a good pattern. Got a good bit of distance to run away. Only hit him twice. Watch him not sprint. Fucking asshole. <laughs> you dick, you just had to do it. I missed. Wow, he freaked out a bit. I think I caught him mid swing. You don't usually want to be wanting it want to be running away in the direction that he uh, was walking in. Would be some advice. In case you wanted some advice. You know, while we're here and not much is going on but I can't talk too much because I, uh, I'm i quite nervous. You know, while all that's happening. Tips. Give tips. Give tips, James. Tips. Uh, is he going to turn around? Yeah. It's unusual that he doesn't feel us running into his legs when we're trying to get past him. That doesn't make a huge amount of sense.
But yeah, this I mean this isn't a uh, a fight to rush. Just because of how much damage he can do with his uh, large sword of searching, which I suppose is appropriate because he's blind. Somebody thought it was funny. Ah, oh, he's blind, he's probably searching for something. Tra la 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 la. I don't mean something metaphysical. I do just mean a blind joke. No, he wasn't searching for a blind joke. See, this person, they got greedy, faced the wrath of the old hero. We, however... Okay. Becomes a little bit awkward. Not the most fulfilling of kills, that one. I always feel a bit bad. But anyway, guys, that is going to do it for this episode of The Holy Box. I hope you enjoyed it. In the next episode, I have a pretty good idea of what we're going to be doing. Ah, uh, please tune in. That is going to be Monday the 21st of... October. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, Monday the 21st of October uh, is the day I get back... I hope you look forward to it. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you look... Yeah, yeah. Enjoy that. Bye.